Hello folks, Mr. Brown here. Hey, I'm sitting at home, days off from work, a bit bored. I thought I'd try something a bit different. I'm going to uh, make a video on how I process a photo. I don't know what photo yet. That's what's going to be a bit different about this. So I, um, I'm thinking about doing a black and white landscape, an old photo of a landscape I should have somewhere. Now, nothing here is planned. I've got really no idea what image, what I'm going to do. Uh, these are photos from the other weekend, so I might just look this year and have a quick scan, quick scout through, see what photos I've got. I'll quickly find something I like, well, half like, and we'll turn it into a black and white and give it a go. Now, I know these photos are from a photo shoot with Alex Moncton, some chili go photos, some here, something here might be okay. What have we got? Look for something for a bit of a lead in line. Okay, straight off the bat, let's try. Let's try, let's try, I have no idea. Let's try this in a black and white. Okay, so what I'll do, obviously open up the image. I like the lead in line. It's okay, it's a bit plain as it is. There's no real detail, uh, no feature or anything. So I'm gonna jump uh, straight over to develop in Lightroom here. Do, 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 hurry up. Now I'm going to open up the shadows. I'm going to drop down my highlights. I'll uh, hold down the Alt key and click white. I'll bring this up so I can just get a bit of white there and I'll click the black and bring it down till I can see a little bit of black in my image. There's a bit there on the left. That'll do me. A quick, uh, using the backslash key, that's before, that's after. Just gives it that boom, little bit of punch. I might add a, a twig of clarity. Not much point adding vibrance in, I don't think, if I'm gonna turn it to a, uh, a black and white. Sharpening I'll do elsewhere. Maybe, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm gonna chuck this straight into Photoshop. So edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now this image could turn out absolute crap and uh, this video may not even make it on the internet. Okay, um, I'm going to go hue saturation. I'm going to drop my saturation out. Yes, I can use the, uh, the um, black and white sliders here to get what I want. But I like to, you know, there's auto, and there's a whole heap of different options here you could do. And it's not doing anything because that layer's still on. Okay, so there's a few different options here I could do. But I like to keep the image pretty much the same as it was and just use this plan. I'll, I'll delete that one. Hue saturation, just dump the colour out of the image. Simple as that. Now, it is a bit bright. I'm going to go. Uh, shift Control Alt E. I'm going to make a new layer there, which is basically a, a new black and white layer. I'll turn those off. There it is, nothing's changed. And with this, I'm going, actually, I might duplicate that again. Control J. I want to darken the image. So uh, if you if you want to darken your image, you can see where it says darken on the little pop up list. Anything below that, multiply, and it just gets darker and darker. If you want to lighten your image, screen, color dodge, just get lighter and lighter. So I'm going to go multiply. That's darkened it a bit. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, I might pop a layer mask on this one. Uh, grab my brush, which is the B tool. Now, I want to paint on white, so if I hit X, or I can click these little arrows here, but X to go to white. Ah, oh, sorry, to black. What am I talking about? Black. Make sure I'm on this layer mask here. I'm going to use the brackets key. Just make my brush a little bit bigger. Um, I'll probably change my flow to about 33, yes, actually that, uh, sorry, the um, opacity 33, flow to 60. And I want to just lighten this up a bit, and that looks shit out again, because my brush is too hard. So take the hardness right off, bracket key, and just sort of bring that down. I'm going to bring some lines down here. Now, if you hold down shift, you want to get a reasonably straight line. So click shift and just and see how it's just drawn that straight line there for me I just want to highlight these these lights here these lines sorry just for something different I might paint a bit of light around here get a bigger brush I might uh, put a bit more brightness back in there because I am on I do have my capacity quite low there we go I can just turn that layer on and off so you can see. No, I can't. Anyway, regardless. <laughs> Soldier on. 
I'll lighten up the mountain a bit up here, a bit of colour, maybe a bit over here as well, give it some contrast in these trees. Put a batch of light down there. I'm just sort of half random going everywhere here and a bit up there as well. I'll brighten them a fair bit. This bush here, give it a bit of lightness. Uh, click around. And I'm going to do the old shift thing again here. That's just sort of half making a bit of a, um, a lead in line. I can actually go back to black with the X, uh, to white, sorry. And I just want to darken this a bit. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. There we go. Maybe a bit smaller there. So here, and shift again. And shift. Oh, I'm hitting enter, you wally. A shift, a shift. I end up with a bit of a black spot there, but I can go back and just change it there. Hmm, so so. Just giving it a bit more detail, a bit more contrast. Um, I'm going to get up to my levels and I'm going to drop the white slider down to around about here, just to the edge of this graph. Bring my center up a bit, this will make it a bit more contrasting. So what that's going to do is it's sort of going to darken the darks and whiten the whites. I'll get a bit more contrast. I'll close that one. So there's your. And this time I should have just paint that um, black to hide that layer, the effect. Switch back to white. B to go back to brush. And what I'm going to do now is just paint a bit of contrast. I'm going to up my opacity a little bit and my flow a little bit as well. So I'm just going to paint in a bit of contrast along, along the edge here. Let's get a bit of detail on those rocks. Maybe a bit of contrast here. And definitely up the back here. I might even make this a bit bigger. So around where I lightened it, I'm just going to give it a bit of contrast just to give it a bit of a punch. Lots some of these trees as well. I might even get up here, look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where else do we want to go? Maybe a bit along the edge here. And probably all these bushes are just, just darkening it a bit. Make it a bit smaller. I'll just try these clouds. Yeah, it's just sort of pulling that up a bit. And I'm going to paint that across just to bring that whole sky down a bit darker too. And I might do the same along the front here, just for a bit of natural vignetting. So, that's for a bit of extra contrast and punch. Not looking too bad. I might just darken the tops and bottoms a wee bit more, so I've grabbed the um, Mark A tool there. Right click, I'm going to go Feather, 300 pixels will do. I'm going to right click, Select Inverse, grab the Curves Adjustment, and usually on a line here somewhere just pull it down probably about half one of these squares just I don't like to do it too much just a little tiny bit like that so there's my before and after on the, the vignetting not looking too bad I might give that a sharpen so what I'll do is I'll go um, shift control alt e again I've created that new layer I'm going to go filter, actually what I might do is um, re remove the noise first because if I leave the noise in there, when I sharpen it, I'm going to up the noise sharpen. Um, this is Noiseware Professional, it's a fantastic program, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I've, I've clicked, there's the noise, and there's no noise. I just use the default landscape setting, click OK, let that run its course. OK, so that's come up. Now I'm going to go filter, sharpen, Nice, easy, quick sharpen, unsharp mask. Um, now, this will only be for screen, so I'm going to probably drop that back a bit. That'll do. Okay, I'm going to also go Shift, Control, Alt, E again, make another layer. This time, I'm going to put a bit of softness into this image. So, I'll go blue, Gaussian blue, 33%. I use this setting quite a lot. 
and I'm just going to change its opacity say to about 33 as well. Now it's given it a bit of softness. There's before and after, before and after. I will create a layer mask, a white one there. I want to paint in black, so the X key to change that. B, back to my brush, and I just want to take out the softness where I want my eye to go. Now I'm still on um, opacity, I think it was around 70. Yep, 70, and flow is at 70, so I'm just going to just paint up here a little bit, maybe just along this edge. So if you have a look, there's before, after, of that softness. Okay, I might just take a little bit of softness off the, off the skyline here, on the horizon edge. Okay, and that's made the clouds, everything else a bit softer. The grass, the edges are all a bit softer. Now if we can pop right back to our very original image, uh, which is our colour one. That's before, pretty plain Jane. I mean that's after we've touched up in uh, Lightroom as well. That's after. Now if I hold down control and I'll click some of these off. That was a plain black and white and here's with a few adjustments. Now it's not an overly great photograph but um, like I said something different just straight off the bat straight into Lightroom to see what I could come up with. I'll close this, I'll go yes I'll save it. So I'll jump straight up back in the Lightroom and that'll come back in here. Famous last words. It will come back in here. There it is. It's taking us time. It's having a slow moment. Okay. Now I do have some presets in here. I Generally after I've had a bit of a play on a photo, it will come through. These are Trey, uh, Trey Ratcliffe preset, presets. You can get them on his um, website, Stuck in Customs, if you are interested in any. Good start. Mm, so so, oh yeah, just control Z to go back out of them quickly. But uh, he's got a couple of here I do like. I do like the dog. The dog comes up quite good. Just gives it that. Um, there's before, after. So the dog is a nice. I don't know. Just something about it. Um, fingers, I think, was another one I don't mind. But the dog, dog's usually one of my favourites. That and which is one of Trey's favourites down the bottom here. Probably dramatically sharp and chippy, chippy, or more dramatic, dramatic, dramatic punch. Don't think not for this image. Um, there's a few other, few others in here. I think I'm going to go back to my favourite, the dog. I'll click that. Oh, what have I done there? The dog was a bit funny on me. There we go. The dog. Done. Okay, well that's it. I might uh, whack that on Google Plus and um, that'll be the end. Don't know how long this has run for but uh, or even if I'll post it online but if it's there, it's there and you, you're looking at it and you're hearing this, well I hope you learnt something. Uh, if not, <laughs> hooroo.